I want someone to pull over. After a day of high drama and plenty of bent panels, the field headed back to Nana for heat two of the Quick Forest Rally. Seven stages to run the 19 kilometer Brockman test to open the day's proceedings. Petter and Reeves resuming their day one battle, the Renault team quick out of the blocks, grabbing 13 on the first before adding a few seconds over the next couple of stages. Unfortunately, the good run ended for Petter with clutch issues, missing a stage, making repairs, then utilizing the rejoin rules, he managed to grab valuable heat points and ended up second outright for the event. With a clear run, the rally school team kept it straight and fast to take out day two's win, in the process extending the championship lead for Reeves. However, the heat win did not come without his dramas. Uh, we had a challenging day. Um, we basically broke and alternate a lead last night before the super special. So we had to get here this morning with very little battery power and actually push the car into service. Uh, we fixed that, the boys did a great job and we've worked hard all day. You've seen us in the chopper, we've done some pretty good stage times but Scott Petter was unlucky enough to his clutch but we capitalised on that and really um, come home with maximum points. Consistency paying off for the Citroen team. Although not on the outright pace yet, this outfit bagged valuable points as well as plenty of competition data with Sullins and Coppen tying for third place. The National Four Wheel Drive Series easily won in the end by Dylan King fastest across this heat too, maximum points for the round, the reward on this challenging event. The stages were pretty rough and rocky, um, they were pretty challenging so we took it easy in for the last half the day and got through them so yeah. Doug Tostevin the next best, overcoming dip issues from heat one, he and co-driver Adams easily the next quickest, grabbing second spot. O'Dowd and Searcy, another crew keeping out of trouble across the weekend, points for third at Rally's End. Clear winners in the side-by-side -side challenge, the Polaris of Cropper and Folletta unstoppable across the two days. The Canham of Guest in catch-up mode with second for the round. Local man Graham Miles, the lone classic runner, getting his Commodore home to take that prize. Unique to this event, the two wheelers, Ben Grabham and his KTM in total control. Podman Graham McKinley, another KTM runner, second overall. <laughs>